Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please feel free to go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. And on today's episode, we're gonna be picking back up on part five of our center console build. So stick around if you'd like to see how we did it. All right guys, so before we go on ahead and uh, go any further with trying to wrap this stuff right here, I am gonna make a lid real quick for this. Uh, so in order to do that, um, I have a scrap piece of uh, plywood right here. It's a uh, three quarter inch, uh, which will be fine because it's just for the lid. Um, so I'm gonna get this uh, flipped on over. We'll trace it out, we'll get it cut out, and then we'll get it mounted, uh, and then we can uh, start working on wrapping the stuff. So now we're going to be uh, going ahead and installing our uh, hinges for the uh, for the console here. Uh, now what I'm thinking about doing is just mounting it like so on the on the console, one right here, one over here, and then um, you're never going to see this part right here. Uh, where this is going to be wrapped all the way up to right here, so you're not going to see that part. Uh, so that's about what I'm uh, thinking about uh, doing on that. All right guys, so we've got our uh, lid installed right here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little magnetic catch right here to uh, lock this down right here. Uh, now also, just to let you guys know, when I was putting this on right here, initially uh, when I got everything screwed down, this would kind of sit open like that. So in order to fix that, I just loosened these and then re-tightened re, uh, them down with this closed. And that uh, seemed to do the trick for me so it doesn't uh, like hold it up like that right there. So. Uh, just letting you guys know that that's what I ran into and that's what fixed it. Uh, but again, now uh, we're going to move on to the front latch right here and we're going to get it to latch down. Alright guys, so we got the latch installed and it clicks down pretty good, so I like that. Uh, that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, now, um, what I'm going to do is I got a couple buttons that I'm going to put right here. So I'll grab those and we'll get those installed right here. So later on, these buttons are going to be coming into play. So I've got one of these right here, uh, which uh, is going to be for some ambient lighting uh, inside of the car. Uh, so that's going to be to turn them on and off. Uh, and then I went ahead and picked up uh, this one right here. Uh, so this one is more of an on and off switch right here to turn them on and off. And then uh, if, I, if I'm correct right here, this is going to be one to kind of cycle through all the colors. Uh, so we'll go on ahead and uh, we'll get these installed again. Right now we're not going to be doing anything with them, but uh, down the road that'll be another part of the uh, console uh, that I'm going to upgrade right here. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just measuring out for where I'm going to place my buttons. Um, so I divided this by two, found the center, and then I took that and divided it by another two so I can s get it pretty close to, uh, to even on both sides right here. So that's what I'm putting these other marks here for. All right, guys, uh, so we got our buttons installed right here. Uh, we got our on and off switch right here, and then we got our button that we'll use to cycle through all the different colors for the ambient lighting. Uh, that will come a little bit later on, the ambient lighting part. Uh, so I'll probably just do a completely new series on that when it comes to that. Um, but uh, the, uh, if you notice the cup holders, I got ones uh, that were actually for uh, boats. Uh, they actually had drains on the bottom of them. So um, those will be uh, used to project the light up through through the cup holders, and then I'll put some ambient lighting up underneath the uh, underneath the dash in the car as well. Um, so uh, yeah, looking forward to trying that out, but again, that'll be a completely separate video. Uh, we'll get to that uh, down the road right there. Uh, so now that we've got 
this done right here, uh, as well as the latch done on this, uh, the next thing is, is we're gonna be uh, taking all this off right here, and then we're gonna start uh, trying to wrap it. All right, guys, uh, so in order to go ahead and get the console wrapped on the outside right here, I picked up some marine grade vinyl from my local fabric store, uh, as well as I picked up uh, some half inch project foam from there as well. So we'll put the project foam on there first, and then we'll try and wrap it with this, and then we'll, we'll staple it on the inside. All right, guys, so uh, in order to get the uh, foam attached onto here, we're going to use some of this uh, Gorilla Spray adhesive. And uh, once we get it uh, on there, we'll do the other side. Uh, and then from there, we should be able to move on to the fabric. All right, guys, so that one obviously is not working. So we'll get rid of that. And we will try this. All right, guys, so I've got this uh, cut on out right here, and uh, now I'm gonna go on ahead and start stapling it uh, down. All right, guys, uh, so we have this one side covered up right here. Um, I think it turned out pretty good, uh, considering I've never wrapped anything before like this. Uh, so, you know, there's a bump here and there, but I think uh, once I get it out in the sun or get it in the car and it kind of heats up a little bit, it'll kind of help smooth it out a little bit right there. Um, if not, I can always maybe pop a pop a couple staples out and restretch it. But uh, yeah, this is how it looks uh, so far. Uh, now we're gonna continue along the backside. Uh, now, what I did have to do is, now, uh, if you do this, uh, be smarter than me and get a little more material. Um, I ended up having to stitch my material together. Uh, luckily, my, uh, my mother-in-law is pretty good with a sewing machine, so she kind of helped me uh, walk me through how to stitch it right here where I wanted to in the middle. Uh, so that'll allow it to kind of have a nice seam and continue around to the other side right here. 
Um, so that's just one thing to uh, keep in mind when you buy material. Uh, take your measurements with you. Uh, I didn't have them with me when I bought my material. So um, yeah, so we got that stitched up right here. So I'm gonna attach my uh, my pad to the back of this right here, and then uh, and then from there we'll get this stretched around and we'll start stapling it along uh, this side over here. So we'll get uh, started on that right now. All right, guys, uh, so we have the outside of the center console wrapped on both sides. Uh, here's the seam in the back. Uh, it's not perfect, but it, I think it looks all right right here. Uh, and then this side, as you can see as well, uh, got that all uh, upholstered as well right here. Uh, so my next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be coming through here. Uh, my next step is I'm gonna be kind of just trimming this out a little bit. This will be getting carpet on the inside of it, so you're not gonna see any of this stuff right here. Uh, I might have to pull a staple or two out of here and move them down a little bit um, for when I put my pieces back in here so you don't see the staple right there. Um, but other than that, you know, I mean, I think it's turning out pretty good. Um, this is exactly how I wanted to do it right here. Um, I'll probably have to do a new hinge for this right here to mount right on top of this part right here. Uh, so I'll be doing that probably in the next video. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm really happy at how it's turning out right here. Um, this is going to end part five of the, uh, the center console build right here. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. If you are, please go on ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. And we'll see you on the next one.